Welcome back to Elden Ring, everyone. We're gonna try this again because I started recording and realized I my mic was like bugging out. So uh, it doesn't matter. I died anyways, so it sort of worked out perfectly. Uh, we started out here in Leornia last time, and I sort of began by marking some of the stuff on the map. There is a point of interest there, and generally along this part of the map, which we have unlocked, but. I want to sort of explore this area. I died that way anyways, so we might as well sort of go that way. Really the biggest sort of interesting thing you missed is me going through this camp. So I just cleared it out, I picked up some of the items there and that's about it. There weren't actually that many interesting things there. So what I'm trying to do is see if it's possible to somehow get to that like little island off to the side I'm gonna try uh, well not try I'm gonna get my runes back and then we'll take a look around because I died in like a weird place it turns out this does lead back to the initial bonfire so there's no issues on that front it's just I don't know oh okay <laughs> you gotta be careful steering the horse really uh, it's a little bit finicky. I don't know, man. I don't know. It does. There doesn't appear to be anything. Yeah, let's just. I don't know. Head to the other thing I marked. I'm sure there's a way to get to that uh, isolated building or castle. Listen, I'm gonna explore this place thoroughly, anyways multiple times what the shit is that fucking turtle man over here is it gonna exp well that was kind of a dick thing to do I now feel a little bit bad um, I'm sure that was a bad guy we'll chalk it up to it 90% of... there's a 90% chance that was a bad guy. Oh, come on. Let me just get on my horse. Is this still further up? Okay. Whoa, okay. Hold on. I did not know these guys had magic. Listen. We got this. Stay cool. That is not a lot of damage at least. There was definitely one more. Yeah, blasting me. These are weird. Definitely. Listen, the first thing I'm really happy about is at least this water area is not a poison swamp. Like, you guys have been around FromSoft games for a while now. And you guys know FromSoft do like them poison swamps. What the shit? Well, I think I reign supreme here. My horse is the best horse. How far am I? Shit, still pretty far. Cool. There's one thing I wanted to sort of explore, and this is a good chance to do it. First of all, we might do some crafting, but I want to see with the Ashes of War whether it's possible for me to take the parry off of this and put the parry... Yeah. Oh. Sometimes I just go through my Ashes of War. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Just to see if uh, I don't have enough uh, stats where going into one of the sort of enhancements makes more sense. Still not quite there, but this is good because I've been missing having a parry. 
and I'm not using the quick step too much. I'm sure there is going to be situations where this, the quick step is going to be useful. But for now, I think we're okay with the with the parry. I mean, this kind of does have the flavor of a dungeon. Whoa, holy. Is that one of those grafted things? Yes, it is. It just doesn't have a weapon. What? Cheating. Oh, speaking of poison. Oh, goddamn. This is Nash from Street Fighter V. The teleports. Nothing personnel, kid. And it has little helpers too, that's annoying. Yeah, okay. There's a pretty high chance I'm dead. God, that has a lot of track. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that, sa that saved me so badly. Okay. Shit, they just keep coming. That's a grab. Fucking hell. Come on! Yes! It's dead. I need to get something to get rid of my poison. That poison is fucked up in this game. Ritual pot. I don't know what that do. Oh, I'm... I'm in trouble. We're in trouble. No! Please tell me that thing stays dead. I think it does, because this looks like a key. God, that was annoying. Doesn't matter. It's dead. Probably could have used my horse, actually. Yeah, definitely. The horse would have been a little bit smarter. Just, you know. Oh, fuck. Why can't you stay dead? Doesn't matter. Yes. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> we out. We out, boys. We're still in Leonia of the Lakes. Ooh, shit. Just on the other side. Anyways, there's a... What you call it? Checkpoint. We might as well sort of unlock it. Because I've seen these things before. These like... Well, whatever we went through. The teleporter. Hold on. One sec. Okay. Just adjusting my face cam. Uh, yeah. Meeting place map. Found a simple map, check in inventory. Well, thanks. I It's what I would have done. Cannot proceed without a glintstone key. Cool. There's the thing. Uh, we might as well sort of head towards that. And then, yeah, let's check it out. Simple map found on a corpse seems to point to a meeting place. The man it came from is surely this... That's a cute little map. Uh, looks like it's like sort of the middle of the lake. Yeah, whatever. Uh, what I'm gonna do is we'll get the map of this side of the area as well. So we have the sort of complete picture. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, sort of just go along this path. I know I'm like a little bit gung-ho and sort of just killing everyone, but I don't think there's too many NPCs here. Oh, fucking hell. What? Weird. Like, how did I hit... How did this stake of Marika count as... Well, fuck. 
whatever. That's actually a worse place to be in. Uh, so we're gonna listen. What the fuck was that? Uh, it doesn't matter. Peace out, boys. Listen, the thing is, if you thought it was easy to run past enemies in other Souls games, well, in this game you have a horse, so... You know. It's like basically a joke. What up? Oh, we remember you. She's so weird. Like all the all of these things. There's multiple of them. They're all kind of so weird. Mikola. They're a little bit cryptic, aren't they? We're <laughs> like looking at her absent-mindedly, like, what the fuck you're talking about? Okay. Well. We're not much... Fuck, no! Okay. Okay, you survived, horsey. We're gonna give you some grapes. Academic ghost town. <gasps> Is that the thing? That's the thing that updates or uh, not updates upgrades your Estus. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And I think I still have a thing that makes it stronger. Uh, listen, as I said, we're gonna look at all of these places. But I just want to get the map and still explore the other side which is what I wanted to start doing but obviously I, with this game it's easy to get distracted nice 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 holy shit there's a lot of shit here and there's still another portion here how big is the map of this game it's insane 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 and that's the meeting point right yeah Finger reader, we've seen her. Okay, well, we need to, like, figure out a game plan. This is a really cool area, uh, no doubt about it. Uh, it's kind of badass. Is there a fog gate there? Or is that just... No, that's just the tin of the glass. Okay. Yeah, this, this is a super cool area, uh, not gonna lie. But we have to sort of chill out a little bit and look at places on this side because, yeah, there's shit here too. So I'm going to warp back and I think the next place we're going to head to is here. Okay, before we move any further, we're going to yeah add that charge and then also use this i don't think i have any more cool and i also said that once i have seven flasks i'm gonna temporarily assign one to fp because like i'm using quite a bit of magic especially well you know maybe in the open world here's how we're gonna do it we're, for the open world i'm gonna keep seven flasks because it's really easy to uh change these around yeah and then for any dungeon we'll be able to uh, get one for FP because that's where I'm sort of using most of the sorceries Okay, so I'm just gonna go along this main path here probably ignore most of the enemies if There's anything interesting. You'll see it Nice, there's gonna be a dungeon We might as well take a look. I think it's somewhere this way. 
yeah, this is this is probably it. I haven't done one of these dungeons in quite a while. Oh, hello there. There's so many like gnome enemies in this game. They really gnomed this shit up for sure. Because, you know, you have, like, the expected staples of souls. Like, skeletons, chickens, and all that. But gnomes, I'm glad they're here. Except they have fucking homing attacks. But still. Just seems to kind of lead to this dude. Somber smithing stone. I've not yet managed to figure out what you do with these. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I did. These are the ones that upgrade the special weapons. I'm stupid. Where did this point to? I'm sure it's here somewhere. The dungeon entrance. Just gotta find it. There it is. Cool, cool, cool. Time to get distracted once again. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna check this out. We haven't done one of these in quite a long time. Cliff Bottom Catacombs. Let's check it out. Again, how I will be doing these is... I'll go through and you'll just see... Sort of the boss and the general highlights I can probably level up yes uh, fuck everything is so tempting let's get intelligence alright let's do this Oh, it's one of these elevator ones. I, and I love the lighting here. Everything seems to have... This is definitely sort of like the sorcery area. Uh, and we're sending that shit back. Wonderful. We have my favorite enemies. Ah... Uh. This is going to be one of those places. Okay, so after dying like four times in this dungeon, I realized uh, that this place might be a little bit outside my skill range. Uh, the main issue being that like, even these little goblin things can kill me in like three hits. Uh, and it takes me four to kill them with my most upgraded weapon. There's also like one of these big ogre things, like the one I got my weapon from, and he he is insane, like literally has, whoa, okay, we might be screwed here, ridiculous amounts of HP, so yeah, we're just, I think, slightly uh, under leveled for this place, which is okay, like... We've done stuff under leveled before. It ain't the end of the world. It just makes things a little bit harder. Nice. Never gonna use that, but nice. Fucking hell. Oh no. <laughs> oh, blast him. Come on. Yeah, that's definitely, that's the same enemy that I got my weapon from. Hey, that was very convenient.
I'm just gonna pull the lever. Of course, there's one more goblin. Yeah, get critical. Usually what happens is, the reason I'm sort of ran through here is we've had situations before where the dungeon was very difficult and the boss itself turned out to be an absolute pushover and I'm sort of a little bit hoping that that's the case here, but you know, there's only, only one way to find out. Alright, let's check this out. Is it going to be someone new? Hopefully. It's not! Fucking hell. Oh, now it's a magic one. Shit. Is it gonna explode? Or it does the Gwendolyn thing. Still not very difficult. Man. Okay. We've... Seen a lot of you recently. You just slightly deal more damage. Oh, god damn. That attack is insane. Yeah, I got some of those as well. What is that range? Shit. Well, he's not very difficult. It's just sort of annoying. Actually, I'm just thinking that it might be... For this guy, it might be worth it for me to focus more on the bleed. You know. Actually, I'm not sure if this thing can be bled. I mean, it's organic. So I don't see why not. Oh shit, okay, you have three heads. Hmm, actually I'm not sure. Can you be bled? It's a bit weird. So I can spam sorceries at you. I was gonna say, yeah. It's you shouldn't be locked on to this thing. Oh, damn the the range is fucked up on that. Still this is this weapon is doing better. Can hit him more times. Fuck. Yes, please do that. Actually, you know what? Oh shit, I don't... I forgot to equip it. Like a true dumbass. Oh god, I hate that. This thing kills me now, I'm gonna be so mad. Just die. Well, that was underwhelming. Just slightly. I'm getting all these ashes, but I know I'm not using them often. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the conflict with the magic. I want to use my sorceries. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that was. I kind of want to see a different boss now for one of these dungeons. That little sort of Enderman guy was sort of interesting. We saw, I think, in the previous one. Whatever, that dungeon was not the most interesting. I think I'm going to be very selective in my edits for this place. I mean, that's pretty cool, you gotta admit. I'm guessing that that place is the main dungeon of this area. That very much looks like a Stormvale castle type situation. Anyways, there is sort of a splitting path here, but that one is the bottom, we're like we're on top of the cliffs, so 
we're gonna stick to them. One of the things that's a little bit difficult to judge on the map, on the like the world map, is what's below and above. It sort of it has some indication, but or maybe I'm just reading it wrongly. Yeah, so this is my sort of like, or was my original goal. This tower here. What the hell? <laughs> hey there. Oh, it's a dude. What tibia mariner? Or mariner? Oh, fuck. I'm betting you... He's gonna be teleporting. Uh, is he a Skelly Summoner? Where the shit is he? Like, I'm assuming he's gotta be in the water. It's not like you gotta kill the Skellies for him to reappear, right? Hmm. Oh! He's going off-road, or off-water. What a cheater. Oh! <laughs> Jesus. That's pretty funny. And he's killing his own skellies. Bro. Try to be tactical, man. He has a lot of HP. So apparently he has sort of a wider teleportation range than I thought, so I'm guessing the annoying thing about this guy is just going to be hunting him down. Whoa, okay. He deals a lot of damage. He doesn't appear to be very strong, honestly. That is some advanced horse combat, right? Me sitting next to this guy and hitting him. I almost feel bad. This dude is kind of a bitch. Oh, he's back. Tricky. Tricky, tricky. He's cool though, like, what is that dude from Greek mythology, Karen, right? He's the one that does the whole sort of boat and undead type deal. Okay, I'm just gonna try... Yep, okay. I was gonna say, I just wanna try preventing him from teleporting. That was mad easy. Uh, 4,700 souls and a death root. Skeletal bandit. Nice. We'll check those out. Um, ooh. A smithing stone 3. Now we're cooking. You know, I don't even know if weapons go, weapons go up to plus 10 or plus 15 in this game. Something to figure out for later. I'm assuming plus 10, like most of the recent Souls games have okay, try not to kill yourself. Oh, I this is, there is no entrance here, right? To this tower. Fuck. Yeah, I can already tell there isn't. Cause you gotta go down.
it's actually quite a long way because well we might as well go, go to the map sage and see what's there hopefully there's going to be a spirit spring somewhere and i'll just be able to do that Dragon called Prayer Book. Oh, I didn't realize that was like a special enemy. Shit. Uh, what the hell is that? Actually, what the hell is this? Grants the blessing of an equipped great rune upon use. Oh. So when you power up the great rune, you can like equip it. Interesting. I've not been able to do that just quite yet still dragon cult whatever prayer book of the capital's ancient dragon cult a text of the knight's faith that arose after the war of the ancient dragons can be given to a learned cleric okay yeah yeah, yeah. okay it's one of these well Worth keeping in mind, uh, ultimate cleric guide or faith guide, whatever. Yeah, I kind of thought there was going to be something like this here. It's a painting. I've not been able to find a single one of these. I think I have three. Although, I'm going to be honest with you, I've not looked very hard. I almost sort of know where this is. Almost and sorta. That's definitely that building. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Okay, what are we gonna do here? We have so much shit to explore. Uh, it's sort of unbelievable. I think I can get across there and then go down. And then head to this tower, because that's like sort of my original game plan here. Let me just check the Great Rune of Godric again, because it sort of tells you where to go. Seek the Divine Tower of Limgrave, which stands beyond the Great Bridge from Stormville Castle. That to me sure as hell looks like a Divine Tower, so that's where we're going. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring, as always, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and yeah, you can definitely make it across. It's exactly what I'm gonna do. In fact, you don't even need your horse. Yeah. Let's, let's explore this side. Take care, peace out, and goodbye.